How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today it's a rules related video because a week ago I posted this a video in which Bo Grease and Fanlon Sherrick was playing in the women's series where the cameras fell down and disturbed the throne. At this point Bo Grease hadn't thrown a dart. However, an interesting question did then come up in the comments section from Timo that says if an incident like this was to happen as the player throws a dart, causing the dart to go to stray, would there be any consideration for a rethrow? My initial reaction was no, based on experiences I've had, but I thought, I want to check this out and I want to have a look in the rule book. Now, when I looked in the rule book, I couldn't find a specific rule that says about the compromising of a dart. We can find rules that suggest around if a player takes the darts out and the leg's not been won, but they thought it was that the referee can put the darts back in the board and the player can continue to finish the throw and complete using all three darts. Now, there are a couple of contrasting stories regarding this exact type of scenario, though. One of them will come from the World Championship semi-final, Adrian Lewis versus James Wade. You'll remember the Windgate situation. Everyone got involved in that one. Tournament director Tommy Cox had to come up on stage. The game was paused and stopped. Matt Porter, the head of the PDC also having to come out and get involved in the situation. It was around about a 20-25 minute delay, but this is the key point for me. Set number three, Adrian Lewis, you'll see on the scoreboard, 60, then a 20 and a 5. So he's thrown five darts, James Wade's thrown three. After the delay, they came back on the stage and restarted the game from the point of the start of the set, discounting the first eight darts that was thrown in that leg, thus restarting from the point of the break. Now, that would suggest that if there was a sizable delay, that actually we could restart it. So it is a possibility we could restart it. It's also a possibility that we couldn't, and I'm going to give you that scenario. That happened to me at the UK Open in round number five. I was playing on one of the outside boards against Dimitri Vandenberg, and in this game, the lighting all shut down. i have thrown one of my darts already at this point of the light going off, and it, I think it was a five. And... The referee turns around and says, we've just been told it's going to be a sizable delay. We're probably expecting around 20 minutes or so. So you're welcome to go backstage, have a practice, try and stay, do, do what you want to do. But it's like an extra comfort break, basically. You've got 20 minutes. So I went off. I was practicing on the board on the outside in the backstage bit. When you come back out again, I got back up. We had our practice darts and the referee removed one of the darts from my hand and went and placed it in the board. Now... I was allowed to throw the other two darts. Now, you could say, what if everyone's in agreement with this? So, Dimitri Vandenberg said the same thing. He says, well, no, it's okay. Matt can throw those again. It's only one dart. It was compromised by the light. It's fine. He can have the three darts. Referee says, no, we can't do that because he's already thrown that one. So, we need to put that one back in the board. And he's only got two darts left. So, we carried on the match from the point of four darts being thrown in the leg rather than starting from three darts again. So, yeah, th there's contrasting scenarios. Now, the interesting thing is a lot of times with rules and these sort of things, we don't tend to get a rule on something until a scenario comes along that questions why there's not a rule on that. And I think this could be one of those sort of situations. There is obviously the clause at the end of it, which says the referee's decision on matters is final. And that sort of uh, a clause that overrides everything anyway. So that could be sort of the go-to rule on this, that the referee gets to use discretion in those situations. But when I think about it, and we look at the black and white, when that question comes in from Timo, there is an argument that that could be a rethrow, as per the World Championship semi-final Adrian Lewis and James Wade, who restarted after eight darts thrown in the leg. So, a little bit of a controversial topic there. I do have another one of these coming up this week. That one's not as controversial. That one's nailed on. But it's one that most people get wrong. It's one that most people get wrong because they don't know which rule to use. There are potentially two rules that you can apply to this situation. If you want to know what I'm on about, make sure you're back next week. Make sure you subscribed and hit the like. I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.